Hello. What I'm going to do in today's tutorial is demonstrate how to create a maglock security door. So those are one of those um, those big metal doors that you have to use a terminal to open. So first things first, we're going to uh, create an activator, or we're going to find a particular activator, and they're called security gate. And if we preview them, we can have a little look. See, this is the kind of door that I'm talking about. And there are a couple of different types. This big orange thing demonstrates what way the door will open when um, it's activated. And we can either have, we can have big ones, we can have ones that are see-through and ones that aren't. So I'm going to use this one just because it's got more users. I'm just going to activate these up here. And if we put markers on, we can see the orange thingy. So I'm going to click on it and just rotate it into our door frame like that. And mine's going to be openable from this side here. So I've decided to make the door swing outwards just for ease. And the good thing about this method is we actually don't need any scripting at all. So I'm just going to go to a terminal. And I'm not even going to bother creating a new terminal or anything. I'm just going to use um, a default one. So let's see. Let's do any of these will do, to be honest. I was hoping to do the wall embedded terminal. And just put markers on so we can see the height thing. I'll turn off these snap markers. Just put us this in a suitable position. And the default terminals actually don't have any content in them. So if I go in here, we can have a look and we can see it's all totally blank. And you can create your own terminal and have a whole load of extra entries, but I'm not going to bother with any of that. So next up, we're going to double click our terminal. That's for music trigger. Get rid of markers. We're going to double click our terminal. And we're going to bring up this linked reference thing here. And mine's already on linked reference. Uh, but you could scroll along with these arrows and look for it if you can't find it. So now we're going to right click new and pick an object in the render window. And we're going to pick our security gate. Double click on it there. Now we're going to want to add a keyword which is lock, um, um, what is it, link, terminal, switch, door. There we are, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for link, terminal, switch, door. And we link it up to the door. And that is actually all you need to do. Now when the player goes into here, an option will appear that will say access maglock door or open door or whatever it says. The player will press it, it'll do its little accessing security door thing, and this will spring open. So I'm going to go into the game now and demonstrate that working. So here I am in my tutorial interior, and we can see um, our door is over there. And if you saw my objects tutorial, we can see we actually have different objects here from the dummy objects one. So proof that it works. So here's our terminal. I'm going to go over here and use it. And now security door control has appeared, which as you'll remember, I didn't set up. This was just a default thing. So if we click this, we're getting the maglock security thing. Open door. We're accessing maglocks, and this always takes its sweet time. Security locks released, opening doors. And there we go. We can go in here now, have a little look around at this glorious empty room. So only a short one today. Pretty simple stuff, really. Um, hopefully that was useful. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.